doing today? I'm doing fine. Great. It's good to see you again. Last week I told you we were going to be working with an abacus. Do you remember? Yes. Okay, so today I brought in an abacus. It's sitting in front of you. I want you to use your hands and feel the abacus and tell me what you feel. <clears throat> it's rectangular. Yes, you are right. It is rectangular. There's wires and beads. There are beads. Can you move the beads? Yes. Move them up and down. Yes. And that's the same thing as vertical. Okay, I'm going to go over, and the abacus is, like I told you last week, it's pretty much like you, like a pencil and paper for you to use to do your math problems. And your teacher, your math teacher's told me that you've been getting really good at math and being able to add and subtract. So this will just be a good tool to help you learn how to do your, or practice your um, addition and subtraction problems. So... We're about to go over the different parts of the abacus. I'm going to do, I'm going to put my hand on top of yours and we're going to feel around the abacus and I'll explain to you what the different parts of the abacus are. So this first row right here, and if we move the beads down, you can feel the wire back there. Do you feel that wire? Yes. Yeah, that represents the first column and this is a column. And then if you move your hand up, you feel the plastic. Do you feel that plastic right there? Yes. And if you move it to the left, it keeps going all the way to the very edge of the abacus. That is called the horizontal bar. If we move up again, this is the top of the abacus. And the way the top of the abacus and the bottom of the abacus feel a little bit different because the top of this abacus doesn't have any um, dots or lines. It just has the letters APH on the very top and the middle. But another way that we can identify that it's the top of the abacus is by feeling down to this first column and feeling that there's only one bead. And that is a five bead. And because there's only one bead in the top of this abacus, you know that that is a five bead and that is at the top. Okay. So that's how you can make sure that your abacus is sitting properly, is if you identify the top bead, the five bead, and make sure that your five bead is sitting at the top. Now if you move your finger down, we'll go down to these beads down here. And there's more than just one bead in this row. Can you count how many beads there are in this row? One, two, three, four. Four beads. And those represent one beads. Okay. So, okay. So now we've gone over the different parts of the abacus. Do you have any questions? No. Okay, wonderful. Now we are going to move on to identifying the ones column, the tens column, the hundreds column, and the thousands column. So we're going to start at the very right of the abacus where your hand already is, your right hand, and you're using your right pointer finger, and this is the ones column. It goes all the way from the bottom to the very top where the five beat is, and that is the ones column. If you move your finger directly to the left, to the next set of beads, you're going to use this pointer finger on your left hand, I mean your right hand, and we're going to move it to the left, to this row. Do you feel that, how we just moved over one row to the left? Yes. And that is the tens column. So that's okay. ones, and there's tens. Okay, and we're going to move one more time to the left. And what do you think this column is? Hundreds. Hundreds, correct. That is the hundreds column. And then we're going to move over just one more time to the left. And there you go. And that would be the thousands column. So now we've gone over thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. And I loved how you moved your finger over as I was saying those. Can you go ahead and point to me to the thousands column?
this one. That is the thousands column. Great job. Can you go to the hundreds column? And this this one. That's the thousands column. Great job. I mean, hundreds, hundreds column. You're right. That is the hundreds column. And I loved how you started at the very right and counted over with your finger until you got to the hundreds column. Can you identify the ones column? This this row. That is the ones column in the tens column. And that is a tens column. You are on a roll today, doing a great job. Okay, now we are going to learn how to set numbers on the abacus. And in order for us to set numbers, we want to make sure our abacus is cleared. And in order to know that's cleared and it's pretty much set to zero, it's like equivalent to having a clean sheet of paper, we have to make sure that all the five beads are pushed to the top and all the one beads are pushed down to the bottom. fingers over you're doing a great job just let me know when you think the abacus is cleared Okay. It is cleared. Great job. So we are going to set a one digit number to start off with. So we're going to start in the ones column. Can you find the ones column for me? This one. That is the ones column. So you're going to push that first beat up. There you go. And that is a one. Now push the second beat up. That's two. Push the third beat up. Three. And the last beat up. And that is equivalent to the number four. And we're going to go up to the top. So go to the fives, and we're going to pull down that five. And that is, when we pull down the five, five plus four is equal to five plus four. Nine. Yes, that's right. Five plus four is equal to nine. So now we have a nine set in the ones column. Does this make sense? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Now I want you to clear the abacus. And you've only set a number in the ones column, so all you have to do is just clear the ones column, the top and the bottom. Yes, now I want you to set the number three in the ones column. Fantastic job, that is the number three. Now I want you to clear the abacus again. And I want you to set the number seven. And that is the number seven. Yes. Now I want you to clear it again. We're going to set two more ones numbers since you're doing such a great job. I want you to set a number and then you can tell me what it is. Just using the ones column. Eight. <clears throat> yes, that is correct. You set the number eight. Can you clear the abacus one more time? And I want you to set the number two.
That is the number two. And I liked how when you pulled that number three up and you felt the beads, you felt that you'd pulled up one too many, so you pulled down that number three. Now I want you to clear the abacus. We are going to set a few two-digit numbers, and then we will be done. So just like setting a one-digit number, you're going to do the same thing, but you're just going to do it over in the tens column. So we're going to set the number 12. And you'll start in the tens column, and you'll set a 1, and then you'll move over to the right to the ones column and set a 2. Good job. Does that feel, do you think that's the number 12? Yes. Okay, great job. You set the number 12. So I want you to practice setting a few more two-digit numbers, and then we are done with our lesson for the day. I want you to set the number 25. Just let me know when you're done, and I will check it. Twenty-five. Good job. Yes. I need you to. Can we move this forward just a little bit so we can see it in the video? Okay, that works. Okay. Please clear the abacus. And when we're clearing it, what are we really doing? Pushing all the beads back to the original spot. Mm-hmm. And what is that? It's like setting it to what number? To zero. To zero. That's right. Okay. I want you to set the number nineteen. You done? Just let me know when you're done. Count. Okay. Hold on just a minute. Okay. Okay, that is the number 19. Great job. I want you to clear the abacus again. And I want you to set the number 52. Maybe 40. Okay, I'm doing a video for school. We'll be done in a second. Number 52. Right. Are you done? Ten. Ten. Two. Yep, 52. Great job. I want you to clear it just one last time, and we'll do one more number. And then I need to have it more in the video camera. Yep, just sit up for a second. So clear the abacus. 
and we'll set one more number, two digit, two digit number, and then you'll be done. Okay. I don't think it's cleared all the way. Do you want to feel to make sure it's cleared? There. Great job. Now I'm going to have you set the number 94. Let me know when you're done. Just in that one. Three, one, two, three, four. Okay. So you think that's ninety four? Yes. Great job. That is ninety four. You did a fantastic job. So now you have learned the basics of the abacus. So next week we will do a little review over this and we'll be able to practice adding on the abacus. And I want you, when you go home, to show your family what you've worked on, okay, and practice using this abacus so when you come back we will be able to easily go over this and start working on adding, okay? Okay. Thank you.